if you're single, what qualities should you be looking for in someone that you might eventually end up with? Well, according to a survey that was done among singles, the three things that most singles look for today are number one, beauty, number two, brains, and number three, disposable cash. Beauty, brains, and money. Interesting. Not one mention is made of inner qualities or a person's spiritual state. And I can tell you after being married for 36 years that nothing is more important than those things. Beauty is great. I happen to think my wife is more beautiful than she's ever been. She kind of got the short end of that deal on my part. <laughs> but it's wonderful to see a woman grow in her beauty inwardly as well as outwardly. You see, in, in our day when we want to deny the passing of time and, and we don't want to admit we're getting older, this is hard. Girls, instead of becoming cougars, how about becoming women of virtue? You know what a cougar is? It's an expression to describe an older woman, woman who is basically preying on younger guys. I uh, read an article in USA Today the other day about a cougar cruise. And it was a bunch of these women uh, who were trying to find some guy and a bunch of young guys that they described as cubs. Uh, as I read more about their activities, it was kind of disturbing, quite honestly. And uh, they would wear these little black wristbands. I'm available. And you know what? Sad, really, to me. Come on. Become a, a woman of inner beauty. A, a woman of virtue, Proverbs 31 says, Who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She's more valuable than precious rubies. Her husband can trust her. She'll greatly enrich his life. She will not hinder him, but help him all of her life. Charm is deceptive. Beauty does not last. But a woman that fears the Lord will be greatly praised. You know, interesting, the word virtue is often thought of as a feminine word. Maybe you don't describe a man as virtuous. More, you might say that more of a woman, but it isn't a feminine word in the Bible. In fact, it's a word that's sometimes translated as a man and even as an army, the idea being that it speaks of something of force, but in its context in Proverbs 31, it's speaking of a woman. So put it all together and what do you have? You have a woman of strength, a woman of influence, a woman of power. Having said that, that does not mean that you should neglect your outward appearance. You still want to be as attractive as you can be. Nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing. But don't forget your inner beauty. We're told over in 1 Peter 3, what matters is not your outer appearance, the styling of your hair, the jewelry you wear, the cut of your clothes, but your inner disposition. Cultivate inner beauty, the gentle, gracious kind that God delights in. How many girls today give that much thought to their inner person? That is what makes a Christian woman so attractive. It really is. In fact, it's, uh, it's what drew me to the faith. You know, I've told you my story before. No one actually came up to me and shared the gospel. They did, but I never listened. They never really got a conversation going. I didn't have time for any of these Christians. But I saw a girl on my high school campus that I found very attractive. Now, it's not that she was a beauty queen, because she wasn't. But there was something about this girl that was different from other girls, and I found out later she was a Christian, or a Jesus freak, as we called them back then. And I went to check out this thing she went to, this so-called Bible study, and ended up hearing the gospel and giving my life to Christ. Her inner beauty that shone through got my attention and helped to bring me to Jesus. So it's a powerful witness. But here's the thing. It not only draws a Christian man, it draws non-Christian men too. Because you're different than the other girls. You don't talk like the other girls. You don't act like the other girls. They may want to mess around with the other girls, but you're the kind of girl they want to marry. You're the kind of girl they want to be the mother of their children because you have virtuous qualities. So they come up to you and say, hey, how are you? Want to go out? And you say, well, I have to ask you a question first. Yeah, what? Are you a Christian? Why do you ask? Because I'm a Christian and I would only go out with a Christian. Oh yeah, I'm a Christian, baby. Come on. Guys will say anything they need to say to get what they want. Trust me on this. They're after something else, okay? That's why 
fathers are so protective of their daughters because they know how men think. 